a book for story time yet? Oh, lovely. Yes, but no. Well... Well what? I want to read this. It's a story I wrote, but I'm afraid no one will like it. Wow! Your own story? Come on! I can't wait to hear it! Santa Needs Help by Miss Hilda Hippo. Is that it? It's a nice title, Hilda. But surely there's more. Of course there's more. I just wanted to see if you liked the title. I've spent hours thinking it up. It was a snowy Christmas Eve in Sleepy Town where everyone was sleeping. Well, not quite everyone. One very nice, very special, and very awake girl was preparing for the most perfect Christmas day ever. Her name was <clears throat> Hilda. <laughs> And this year, she was doing something extra nice for all her friends. Whoa! Oh, I simply must hurry and get everything ready for my wonderful Christmas ski party. It's been snowing all day and night. No ski party would be right without a good helping of snow. What little Hilda didn't realize was that while the snow would be good for skiing, it wasn't very good for someone else. Ho, 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 ho. I really wish it wouldn't snow. Ho, 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 ho. I wish it would melt. I wish it would snow. Sometimes I wish Christmas came during the summer. Ah, there's little Bridget Murphy's house. My first stop in Busy Town. Hey, I thought it was Sleepy Town. Oops, I made a mistake. There. Now, let's see. Oh, there's little Bridget Murphy's house. My first stop in Sleepy Town, said Santa. Looks to me like Sergeant Murphy should clean the snow from his roof. Hang on, everyone. This is going to be a rough landing. <laughs> huh? What's that noise? What? Merry Christmas, Sergeant Murphy. Santa is in urgent need of your assistance. And if you'd pull me back up, I'd be mighty obliged. That wasn't the best of landings, my dear reindeer. I fear this is big trouble, Santa. I don't know how to repair your broken sleigh. Wait a minute. Santa broke his sleigh? Then how will he deliver all his presents? I'm getting to that, Lowly, if you just be patient. How will I deliver all my presents with a broken sleigh? We have to fix it. Did you say fix it? That's it. Mr. Fix-It. He can fix anything. I'll go get him. And that's just what Sergeant Murphy did. But there was only one problem. When Mr. Fix-It sleeps, he really sleeps. Wake up, Mr. Fix-It. Santa needs your help. Ugh, really? What does he want to do with my belt? No, no. Santa's in trouble. We need you to fix something. No, no. My name's Fix-It, not fix something. Well, let's just hope you can fix anything when you're still half asleep. Are you sure this is such a good idea, Sergeant Murphy? Maybe he should wake up with a cup of coffee first. Uh-oh. There, I fixed it. Now you have two sleigh runners exactly alike. Now they're both broken. Oh, look what you've done. But Mr. Fix-It fixes things, Hilda. He doesn't break them. Lowly, you really must remember that this is just a Christmas story. It's not real. But what will Santa do? You'll see. We've got to do something. How can I deliver presents if I can't take off or land? What's all that noise about, Sergeant Murphy? The runners on Santa's sleigh are broken. <gasps> If Santa can't deliver the presents, then Christmas will be ruined. There must be some way to fix the runners on Santa's sleigh. I know! <gasps> my skis! But if I give Santa my skis, then I won't be able to ski at my own party tomorrow. Hilda Hippo, there's only one thing for you to do. You've got to save Christmas. So the wonderfully nice, kind, considerate, perfect Hilda sacrificed her ski so that everyone could still enjoy Christmas, even if it did mean ruining her own ski party. Here, Santa, you can fix your
your sleigh with my skis. Why, thank you, Hilda. That's very nice of you. You've saved the day, or rather, the night. Uh, here, I'll nail those skis to your sleigh. I don't think so, Mr. Fixit. <laughs> I was up so late helping Santa, I must have overslept. That must be the first arrivals for my ski party. The party I can't go to now. We're here for your ski party, Hilda. I'm afraid I won't be coming to my own party, Loli. You see, I gave my skis to Santa so he could fix his sleigh. Wow, that sure was nice of you, Hilda. I wish there were some way I could still go with you. Uh, Hilda, what did Santa bring you for Christmas? Oh, I haven't had time to check. Oh, boy, new skis. That's Santa, he's so clever. Yay! <laughs> Come on, now you're all set to ski at your own party. Well, the nice little girl was almost all set. You see, she forgot that she still had to get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Hilda, I think that was the best Christmas story ever! ever.